Hi, in this tutorial we're going to have a look at adding a virtual tour tab along the top of a Facebook page. Now this is uh, the Care Zone, this is a project that we build a virtual tour for these guys and um, as you see when I click on there it goes through and it opens this up and you can jump through here as normal. This is uh, deliberately set to this size and we'll see in a minute how we do that. You can open it up to full screen. I won't do it. It will throw this out on here. Um, and I can link through to my website as normal from here. So there's one that's working. And first of all, I need to s explain that you need to be an administrator for the site. So I'm assuming initially that this would be customers of mine that I've sent you a link to this page because you're wanting to add a tour on Facebook so you will have admin rights to your own page uh, if that isn't the case you will need to get in touch with an existing administrator and either get them to run through this tutorial or ask them to make you an administrator the other thing I should point out is that if you would rather have me do this for you I'm very happy to do that just send me details and again I you can make me an administrator, I can add the tab for you and then you can knock me off the administration or in fact I will take myself off it for you. So first thing you need to do at the minute I am in here, you can see at the top here that I'm logged in as the care zone. So first thing I need to do is make sure I'm logged in as myself. Okay and now what I can do is as you'll see I've got down here a link to all my pages that I look after. Um, now this then is the care zone. What I'm going to do, this is just an example, um, one of the other pages that I look after is this Kingsgate events in Hampton. This is where we live, um, different things that we put on in the community. But I've got a fairly empty, I've got a fairly empty um, set of tabs up here. So what I thought is we'll add one into this and I can delete it afterwards. This is just really to show you what's going on. I'm not sure what that pop-up is saying. Hopefully we won't be bothered by that. Right, so what we need to do though is I'll put a link to this. Uh, Woobox create this uh, ability here to build tabs. So now I'm logged in up here as myself. I can click on this and I can add a tab. The first thing it's going to ask you is to choose a Facebook page. I'm guessing that if you only administer one page then that's the only one that will pop up but I've got a few in here so let's just jump onto this one. Kingsgate events in Hampton. It's got a tick on there now and I can say add page tab. Let's see what happens. All right, so we're straight into a settings page. Now, don't be spooked off by this. It's very easy. First thing you need to do, page source, is to tick URL. Okay? Now, I've already got one open here. This is a tool we're going to use for this example. carezone.smartvirtualtours.com. Copy that and I'm going to pop it into here. Now you must make sure you've got the HTTP at the start um, and I'll show you in a minute this height. I'll start initially with it as its default at 800 pixels. Everything else you leave it's set to off. Um, I'll even leave this for now just to show you what happens. So let's just, all we've done is we've cut and pasted the URL, the address from the virtual tour that you want to use. We've left everything else as default and we're going to say save settings. And that's come up and told me that the settings have been saved. You may well get a pop-up at that point saying to you that it needs to give permission to um, these guys, Woobox, to be able to do updates. That's because they will get messages if there's any errors and they need to be able to see what's going on. Uh, so you can give permissions to them. So let's have a look now. We can either view the tab or what I'd prefer to do is go back into the page. So here we are now, Kingsgate Events in Hampton. We've got a new tab 
And if I click on that, you'll see it's by default got these symbol in here. We're going to change this image in a minute and it's called Welcome. But if I click on that, it'll open up my tour. Poor internet here, I'm afraid. Um, now, we left this as default as a height of 800 and now you can see, I mean this is fairly wide this screen, um, but I'm having to scroll to see the whole thing and I don't like that. So what we're going to do, let's go back into our page and if I click on the welcome button here, this is how we get into the admin panel. We click on the welcome on our tab and what it says to me at the top here is settings and we're back into the page you were to start with. Now feel free to play around with this. I set mine to 550 pixels as a height. So let's just do that one change first. Save settings and now let's we can view our tab. Let's have a look at that page now. You see how that's brought the tour up. We've got this space below. So you could set this to 600 or more but um, I would rather go safe and know that if somebody is viewing this on a smaller screen they're not going to have to scroll. Okay. So still so far all we've done is to add a URL and we've changed the height from 800 to 550. Now then you remember that tab had got welcome underneath it. I'm going to put virtual tour there. Now we can change our image while we're doing this. Now I'm going to put another tutorial up and I'll put a link to it below. You have to be, your image that you want to use here is needs to be 111 pixels wide by 74 pixels tall. And if you try to do anything else, it will throw up an error. Now if you're okay with doing that, then that's great. If you need a bit of help, then I will put another tutorial with an online program that I use occasionally um, that will allow you to edit that photo without having to have Photoshop or anything. Okay, so I've already got one done. Blue Peter style. Let's go off and find that. I've left it on my desktop. And um, which one is it? It would be this one here. Dimensions 111. I'll just pull that. You can see within my screen. So now that's in. I've changed the name of it and I've changed the image. Let's save settings this time. And now let's go back to our page. And yeah, there we go. We've got an image and it now says virtual tour. So that's it. That's all you need to do is simple as that to get in and load a virtual tour. Other options that we can do on here, you'll see there's this little drop down button. And uh, note that at the minute when I hover over these, nothing really happens. When I click on this, it gives me option to add more um, tabs on here, but it also gives this edit icon. So we want to edit some details on here. Um, and what we can do is swap position with. Um, so if I just want to move this along a space, I can ask it to swap position with likes and there you go, it's moved across a space. So it's now not sitting off in the corner. Um, yeah, and that's it again. So now we've done that, we've added um, virtual tour onto your Facebook page. You need to be an administrator, you need to be logged in as yourself, not as the page, um, but it really is as straightforward as that. If you have any questions or queries, please give me a call, but I think that's as much as um, needs to be done with getting a a tab into your Facebook page and once you've done that be sure to advertise it and promote it um, you know put, put messages out on Twitter try and get people to your page and get them to like your virtual tour have fun <laughs>